Hey there designers, Lindsay here. I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT4, that's the paid version, to edit your PowerPoints. One of my big challenges is that I've got tons of PowerPoints, they need to be updated, but you know what, I just don't have a lot of time. ChatGPT can help with that. I've seen a lot of complicated videos that are like five, six steps and you're using different platforms to edit your PowerPoints to ChatGPT. You don't have to go that far. I'm gonna show you a way to do it within ChatGPT itself. And then at the end, you can get the content in your PowerPoint and you can apply the theme of your own choosing. So stay tuned and check it out. I'm Lindsay and I cover instructional design, e-learning development, and all things online teaching and learning. So let's start with ChatGPT. Thanks to my employer, Arizona State University, I have access to ChatGPT for now. It's awesome to have this, but they have disabled the plugins that you can get for ChatGPT. So there are lots of PowerPoint plugins you could get to make slides of ChatGPT. I don't have access to those, but there is a fun thing that ChatGPT4 can still do for you and your PowerPoints. So the interesting thing about ChatGPT as it stands now is that it can pull content from a PowerPoint it can pull, put content into a PowerPoint, but it can't edit a PowerPoint directly. That, that connector is missing. I'm expecting that they're going to update that in this year or so, but it's not there yet. But you can still get ChatGPT's help with your PowerPoint to edit it, make it better. And that's my use case today is I have an existing PowerPoint, it needs some updating, and then I wanna put it into a new slide deck and get that ready for my next video. All right, so I've already gone ahead and attached the PowerPoint here. It's about accessibility and the law for e-learning developers. And what I'm gonna ask it to do is convert this to text. Now it'll take a moment. Sometimes it'll tell you that it can't pull content from the PowerPoint. It can, <laughs> you just open a new chat if you have to. And you can see here it's pulling that text for me. Now you can make any edits that you want. Um, let's see, so this is actually a summary, but I want the full text. And that's something you always have to keep an eye out for with ChatGPT is sometimes it'll do something adjacent to what you want, but not quite there. So here we go. Now it's giving me the full text. I recognize this from my PowerPoint. That's great. Please edit with additional details that you think are pertinent, but keep it brief. All right, so this is what I'm asking it to do for editing. I'm gonna tell the audience is e-learning designers. All right, so I'm gonna give it a moment here. It's revising the text. Now, it's providing the edits here. It seems to have taken away some things. And so this is really interesting, right? Is that I had my original text, I asked it to edit, and it seems to have made things very much shorter. But in any case, let's see if we can get it to put into PowerPoint for us. I'm always very polite with ChatGPT. Okay, now, ChatGPT has the ability to put information into a PowerPoint file so you can download that file, but it's going to create one of those squashed PowerPoints, a four to three ratio, when the default now is 16 to nine, and it's gonna be very plain. It's not gonna have any theming with it. So while it's doing that, I will go ahead and open up my theme template. So what I do, and I think that PowerPoint's taking its time to open, is, um, I open up a file in PowerPoint that has the theme that I want my new PowerPoint to have. Oh, good, that is open. Okay, and then what I do is I just copy and paste the slides from the ChatGPT PowerPoint into my existing file. So here you go. Yeah, this looks okay. Very brief, I'm happy with that. All right, so you copy all the slides. You see it's very plain. I'm doing Control C in my computer, minimize that. This is the PowerPoint file that has the theme I want. That's a little blue bar on the bottom and the little, my little light bulb logo. And you can just paste that in, delete the old things there, 
This obviously needs to be a title slide instead. That worked. Yeah, it's fine. I tend towards minimalist slide decks anyways, but there you go. It's a fully fledged PowerPoint ready to be presented. Now, again, this was created with ChatGPT4, which is a paid version of PowerPoint. There are plugins out there, Mesa isn't the best way to do this, but I just th thought it was really interesting that it can pull information from PowerPoints, put information into PowerPoints, PowerPoints, but not connect to those things. All right, next up is Gamma. And if you do want ChatGPT, last note here, uh, version four is about $20 per month. All right, what did you think? Is this something that you're going to try out? Did you see a way that I could do this better? I really do think that ChatGPT is going to add the feature in the next year or so to be able to edit PowerPoints directly. They're not quite there yet. Again, there are some really nice plugins out there for ChatGPT to make your life a little easier. Check out another video that I created that has a lot more and other AI tools for creating slide decks. ChatGPT is a great one-stop shop for a lot of things, but there are some better tools out there that might might be even better for creating slide decks, so check that out.